been produced for yeah, Paramaricia, um, some work done in the Gulf of Mexico, uh, estimates uh, corals aged there are several hundred years old, um, based on the sizes of those coral colonies, they were much smaller than the one we're seeing in view yes. here. Um, again, uh, uh, several hundred years is a conservative estimate at best. Yeah, I would say that those uh, specimens that were aged were about a quarter of the size. Is that about a quarter of the size, yes. Andrea, is that what you said? Right. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Um, they were quite yeah. a bit smaller than macro, what we're seeing right now. Be. Yeah, so they were quite small in stature, and they were very old. There's an yeah. associate. Hello, EMX, this is Catalina at the University of Maryland. Yes, go ahead, Hello, Catalina. Catalina. Hi, we have a, a tour group here from the OE uh, Professional Development and a bunch of wonderful teachers. Polyps. Um, and then we have some questions. Would you mind uh, letting us know what you're doing? Have you on speaker here? Control room is on stream two. Sorry, Catalina, could you repeat? You were a little light. She had indicated she had some questions. She asked the crowd if they had anything specifically they'd like to ask you guys, but there's a tour group uh, listening to you now, mm. and you're currently streaming the camera f up front looking at you on stream two. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Better do my hair. <laughs> <clears throat> so today we are um, exploring the again, please. south the south side of uh, Oceanographer Canyon, and we started our dive at a depth of uh, a little over 1,200 meters. Uh, we've been working up this feature, trying to characterize and um, get an idea of the diversity of corals and uh, any other uh, animals that we've uh, seen along our trek today. So we have seen uh, a variety of corals, including octocorals like you see in the screen here, as well as uh, some uh, scleractinian or hard corals. We've also been noting uh, the different organisms that are associated with these uh, particular species of corals. And um, like I say, we're, we're trying to get uh, as far up the, the side of this canyon as possible uh, to get an idea of uh, what lives here and at what uh, depths uh, we find it. Full wide range. Thus far, we've seen several uh, colonies of the Paramaricea throughout. Um, you can see just ahead of us. Sorry to interrupt, Amanda. Can we just say something about what we're seeing right here? Sure. sure. Uh, I just wanted to say that. I just want to say that the, if this coral is hundreds of years old, which I believe it is, it's interesting, given all the rock rubble around it, that you know this particular rock that's on also must be stable. And I'm wondering, is this? bedrock somewhat different from what's around it if the geologist could say something about that mm. that's a great what question Scott. Yeah. it um it did seem like we changed over into a Edition different mythology when we um we crossed over this ledge uh, so yeah. Go ahead. Video uh, um, it's hard to As tell i mean it, it definitely seems much stronger just from the the, what you can see here is this huge overhang um which we didn't see on the on the rocks down below so there is i would say that you know, we're in a different lithology, probably more stable, at least at this point. Um, you know, be what it is, it just avoids anything coming from, from up high, you know. Uh, but yeah, I, I think we did, we did see a difference in the rock, and that may may lead to a, a big change in the ability for some of these corals to be quite old. There's another it's fundamental bedding, difference there. The bedding planes are inclined. First time I've seen them Fine, yeah. inclined. It looks like we're either on a big block that has moved. Bedding does not form at an inclined angle. It forms horizontally. So it's possible because the bedding planes are at an angle here that you're getting a, a flow between the planes that's different than what we've seen earlier. Thanks, guys. I'm sorry to interrupt, Amanda. There's a piece of that red stuff on the top as well. I just want to know the numbers for the EPD you're focusing right now. What's that in the center of the screen, Dave? I'm asking the same question. Let's zoom on it, Roland. Looks like a plate. Hold that there. It's got 